Welcome back, lovelies. Today's video, I have a haul for you from Dollar Tree for Valentine's Day. So we're going to keep the intro short and sweet, and we're just going to jump into it. But if you do enjoy what you see, please consider subscribing down below. Leave me a like. Hit that notification bell. And if you're new here and you do subscribe, let me know in the comments so that I can welcome you personally to our family. Now, with that said, let's jump into it because I'm excited. Okay, first thing we have, not very Valentine's Day, not very interesting, but it's 100 elastics. You get black, tan, blue, and more black. They have little gold hardware. I wish it was silver, but that's okay. And you get 100, you guys. Look at that stretch. So, we have those. You guys, we're sitting down here, so if it looks weird, I turned the lights down some. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Now, our next thing, some stickers. But before I show them to you, do you see that pink bin right there? That is, it's a pretty big bin. It also came from the 99, the dollar twenty-five store, I'm sorry. But it's full of nails, Valentine's nails and stickers and things from Timu and Shein. I hope I'm saying Timu, Timu. You can see the, oops, the orange bag right there. I placed a huge haul with both. So that'll be coming up as well. So, let's do this first. Oh my god, you guys! They're like flocked! Listen! They're like fuzzy! Okay, but we have these. That's the first one. Our next ones are both shakers, so let's do this one. These are freaking adorable. I love buying stickers when any type of holiday comes up. This is one of my favorites. Look at that. It looks like a background scenery. So cute. Okay. And here's the next one. Also shakers. Love that. I hope you guys like seeing stickers I get because huge sticker haul coming between Timu and Shein. And I mean huge i mean i bought like 30 different packs of stickers and each one came with like 100 plus so. so you didn't hear that the next thing you guys let me do these first i got two little helium balloons um one is for each of my sons yes they will be 22 and 20 this year and what and what i always buy them little things for every holiday they could probably care less they probably don't even want them but they're gonna get them anyways now look at this you guys you just you ain't ready because i wasn't ready when i seen it in the store bam look at that we got some red and pink fortune cookies you guys now i had already started filming this and got to this part and had to redo it so, and I'm not going to take another fortune out because you can't get them back in. But I will show you. When I bought these, I thought they were hard, but they're not. They're like, they're soft and they're kind of like a foam, but not exactly. And then you get the little fortune sticking out. And I pulled this one out just to show you guys out of the red one. And I got lots of hugs are coming. Now, that would, you know, that would be fine because it's a Valentine. Bang, bang. It's a Valentine's saying, but no. Here's the thing. My nieces and nephew, ranging from four to eight, just got here to stay the weekend. Whenever they come, I get showered with love and hugs and, and I love yous and all that stuff. So the fact that I got that right when they got here, that, that's a little on point. I ain't gonna lie. But we got those. You guys. Stuff, puffs, cookies, and freaking cream. Has nothing to do with Valentine's, but it is just some baggies. On to the next. Yes, you saw green. This is a St. Patrick's Day garland. 12 feet long. I got it because St. Patrick's Day is coming up. And I won't have to run back out just to get background filler to take a picture. So... Yes. I don't know. It's getting late and I'm goofy and tired. But we got that. Because I go to the 99 cent store so that 
I can get lots of things for filler for pictures because if I went somewhere else, I would pay triple the amount. Mind you, I don't remember exactly, and I'm, I think I threw the receipt away, but I posted it on my story, and I'm pretty sure I spent close to $90. I'm just saying. But look at these. Uh, you get four, they just call them containers. So let's open them in with one. Look how cute. And they have a little hole you can put a string through them. You can hang them. You could just sit them places and they open. You could fill them with candy. So how cute is that? Oh, oh my gosh. I got my nieces these um, buckets with lids that have slits that they slide the Valentine cards into when they do them at school. Along with candy suckers that go in these little things that you stick onto the cards because I got them cards too. So, I'll try to remember to insert a little clip, not this video, but when I help them fill them out. Of course, I, I won't be inserting my nieces or nephew in the clip, but just us doing the balance. So, we got four of those, and like, these are pretty big, so they would definitely be good for a background. When I get mine, I tied them because I went with my uncle, and he got some stuff, and I wanted, because he wasn't coming in to visit, so I wanted to know what bags were mine and what were his. So I tied mine so I would know what were mine. This, you guys. This was also on my story to tape this after because, um, can you see it? Can you see it started to rip? Because it's just, this is just paper. But that's okay. I thought this would be adorable for the background of a picture. It actually opens. You could fit a lot in there, too. Look at that. You could probably fit two of my arms in there. And it closes up. And this actually turns. Ha! Ah, it's adorable! Now, it's not like it. It will, you know, it's nothing crazy sturdy. But I don't care. It's not a review. We're not reviewing this damn paper mailbox. But I got this because, again, background filler. And I thought it was so cute. Just have a, a look real quick. Like you could even write in the love letter. You could write on the postcards. Look at that. It's like a doily with a heart. Like, come on. Come on. That is adorable. And they had a couple different designs as well. So we have that. This bag has a lot. See? And I got another thing of baggies. I got two boxes. But see how those don't zip they're not zip, but like snap clothes. That's what I thought both of them did. But it's whatever. These are just shamrocks that are glittery and on sticks. So you can stick them down in like pots or the balloons I was telling you about or whatever. But I got these and it comes with six of them for $1.25. That's pretty good. There's the name. Uh, St. Patrick's Shamrock Picks. Pack of six. So we got those. Because like I said, St. Patrick's Day is going to be coming up. So I just grabbed a few things ahead of time. Of course, I had to get these. I had to get these just like those hearts. But they're little cauldrons, like little pots of gold. But just you wait. Let me get one out. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> look at how cute. That's about how big it is. And it's actually, you could put stuff in there. But just wait. I got something for it. I'll show you when I get to it. So that came with a pack of five of those. The St. Patrick's Day stuff in a bag together. Next. Definitely not for either holiday, but I got me some disinfectant wipes. They are lavender scented. You guys, please, if you don't know this, now you're going to know. If you use hand sanitizer or these or anything that sanitizes, count to 30 before you think it's sanitized. If you slap... Hand sanitizer on go like this. Done? You're not. Wait 30 seconds, please. Thank you. PSA. There you go. So we got these. I want to see if they smell like anything. Oh, we have a loose shamrock. Um. Not really. But they do smell good. They don't smell super strong like alcohol, so I'm happy. So I'm keeping everything in bags. I'll keep the cleaning and household items in its own bag. 
and I'm in the attic. No heat comes up here. No air comes up here. And it's not that insulated, so it gets cold where I blow smoke. So I get things like that, and they help so much. All right, next bag. Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember. I got this. It's a back scrubber. I have one that's, like, long and flat. and has all the exfoliating properties, and you grab each, um, like, little handle and just, you know. But I wanted one of these because, yeah. And it's $1.25. I mean, come on. Can't beat that. Looks pretty good. And they're not super sturdy. Hold on. This is going straight to the shower with me after I'm done. It had a cover. That's what was squishing. There you go. You hear that? Oh, they're pretty stiff. But they do bend. And it's a plastic pink handle. <clears throat> and it has like a rigid part right here. So it won't slip with your wet hand. Like that, you know. And it has a thing to, you know. Love that. Next, I love these when I've seen them. They're foam hearts, right foam? Yes, a 12 pack of foam hearts. Okay, you only stamped one. That's good. And we could turn it over. Or not. Well, I guess I get 11 hearts because this one's crap, but I'm still going to keep it. So we get purple. And this is how thin they are. I can show you. They're not super thin, but they're thin. So we get purple. We get pink, which I love that pink. It's like a mauve pink. And we get red. So you get one, two, three, four of each color. Four, eight, twelve. So, we have those. So, we have those. Anyways, I saw this last minute. I wasn't going to get it, but then I was like, I have to. It's so cute. Let me get all this plastic off first. So, you guys can actually see what it looks like and what it is. Look at this. It looks like freaking books. Be mine forever. Lots of love. I loved it so much. It's just, it is hollow inside, but that don't come off. But you could, I'm sure, make it and slide, make it a little drawer. But like that sitting on the shelf or in the background of a picture, yes. It's upside down, sorry. So you get a white, a pink, and a darker pink book with a red, red, that's not red, a black and white checkered ribbon. So we have that. I forgot about this. I got this. Ah, like it said, little wheels. It's literally rolls. It's got a recycle sign. It looks like the recycle bins. I don't know. I don't know where you guys live. Let me know in the comments if it's like this. But we get uh, two or three of these big recycle bins with our address on them that are our property that we fill. We roll them out to the alley. They pick all the stuff up. We bring them back in. As long as you don't get these stilling them, which they do. But anyways, it has a little lid, which has got the little grip right there. And you open it up, it's a little trash can. So I got it to put on my computer desk for like the box of, that I haven't showed you. The box of minion tissues that I got for up there. Pull one, blow, blow my nose, open my trash can, stuff it in, good to go. Or uh, candy wrappers or whatever, like it. It's not super, you know, tall, but it's a good size, and I love it. It says it's a pencil holder. Well, you know what? Let's see if you can see it now. It's a trash can for me, along with the tissues. I oh, so cute. They only had green, I think, blue. I'm not sure, but yeah, I loved it. You know, we had the little pot. I said I got something to go in it. I hope these are not too big. Look, goat, the goat. Who likes the leprechaun movies? Let me let me know in the comments. You get a pack of thirty coins. That's all it says. Okay, you can see they will bend, but it does take a little bit of effort. See if they're all the same. A four-leaf clover for good luck. It says. I don't think you're better to read it. And a clover on the back. Here's the moment of truth. Ah! 
They fit. Hell, it might take all of them to fill it. I should have got a couple more. But I can always go back and get more. Holy shit, it did take all of them. I was hoping. I'll just stuff like the plastic inside. That way I can keep some at the top. A vision. But it ain't gonna be the best. But just you get a little. Like, see? Of course, I stuffed that plastic, which you can see. Because look, if I didn't, look how. We're still. It could have probably held like 20 more coins. We got the coins. But I think I'm gonna go back and grab a couple more bags. Because it looked like a lot until until I threw them in there. So I'm just gonna put a clamp so that they don't fall out. And they go into the St. Patrick's Day bag. Oh yes! Oh yeah, I got this for my son. You guys, look how flat it is. But it's a flashlight. What the hell? But I got that for my son for his car. I like to get my kids um, flashlights, first aid kits, tools, cleaning products, whatever they need for their car. Because you should always have, for one, a flashlight, and for two, a first aid kit in your car, no matter what. Next, we have this. St. Patrick's scarf. So, let's open this. So, I got this. I don't know how they can, I guess the color is what's considered a St. Patrick's Day scarf. They had a couple different um, designs for St. Patrick's Day, but they all were like this. Like, it was just a weird design. It didn't actually have anything to do with St. Patrick's Day other than the color. So, I got that one. Then, I got a scarf for Valentine's Day. Look at this one. Now, see, oh, let me take it off. This one's, I think, longer, a lot longer, too, because it came in a little knot. Like, I like to take these. Let me show you. Hold on. So, I get it untied. And I, I like to wear them like a tie. I'll go like this. And, of course, with the right outfit. Like, you're not just going to do it with any outfit, but I'll wear it like this. Oh, God, I look like a rich old woman. No offense. Sorry, no offense. And, like, it's long. Or you could wear it like that and then throw it back behind. And you'll have it, like, over your shoulders like this. Like that. You know, lots of different things. You can wear it in your hair like this. Which is something I actually do. Well, I did when I had longer hair. You know? Like, if my hair was wet or something. But enough with all that. Lord, what was that tangent about? Oh, my God. Sloths are my favorite. It says, have a hedge hug. Oh, it's got a hedgehog right there. My son loves hedgehogs, my one son. A doggy. We have a sloth that says, let's, let, let, what? Oh, let's hang out. I thought it said, let's hang two or let's play two. And then, oh, down here, more. We have some kitty cats. Can you see the kitty cats? I love this. I didn't even know what the design looked like. I just knew it was a Valentine's Day design, so I grabbed it. And, like, not only do I use these for background fillers, but, like I said, I do use them for my hair. Like this one. Oh, you guys can't see it. I'll try to remember at the end. I have one right there that I've had for probably five years that I also got from the 99 cent store. Oh, yes. Oh, this is so cute, guys. Look at that. I'm going to give this to my grandma so she can use it as like a doily to put on her table if she wants. So cute. The tag says decor. Decor. So, I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see the edges? It has sparkles on the edges. And then the rest of it's just like a flat, like soft material. Then we have these. Came in a pack of two. You have one that says, oops, let's see the front. Be mine. And then this one is just hearts. And I got these. Yes, for filler, but also yes to putting the things I got my sons in them. And here is one of my cards. You fill my heart. And then on the inside it says, with lots of love. And I thought that was a fitting from a mother to a son. They definitely fill my heart with love. 
And then I got the same card, but different. Let me see. Where is it? This one is short, and this one is tall. So I'm going to give this one to my tall son, and this one to my shorter son. And they'd say the same thing. You fill my heart. Yes. With lots of love. I don't know. I just thought that was just a cute little addition. The long one to the tall kid, the short one to the short kid. You know. I mean, he's not short, but he's shorter than his brother. Oh, yes. I forgot about this. Look at this. It's so cute. It's like pretty big. Look. It's tin. So it can be kept and reused, which is why I got it. Because I'll definitely reuse it. I figure I would, I'm going to put um, different decorations for background fillers in here after Valentine's Day to be kept. So we have that. If you've been here long enough, you already know about me and my Squishmallows and my stuffed animals. But come on. This says it's called the Fuzzy Friend. <laughs> yeah, that's fitting. But it's a freaking purple unicorn. And look. It's got a little thin ribbon. And look at his little face. And he's tie-dye. All pastels. White, pink, purple. I love and it's so, so freaking soft. So we have that one. And then we have this one, which is even softer than the other one. Look at it. It's the cutest bear you have ever seen. That's like a satin fill. And the heart and the feet match the ears. And they got a little bit of texture to them. And it's got, it reminds me of a lamb. How the fur looks or whatever you would call it look at his little face ah, his little heart nose so we have him that ain't on right here they came in a pack of two so i'm going to release them honestly at first i thought maybe they just forgot to take them out of the packaging but no because even their hands and stuff are stuck together now i don't know if they're supposed to be kept together because, like, look at their hands. Let me turn them back outside. The way they were. Like, their hands are together, together. But I am going to cut them apart. Or you could leave them, you know, hands together like that. That is so cute. I might do that. I might leave them together like this. Look! And this one says you. And this one says me. See? It goes dark to light when you rub up and down. I love them. They're adorable. I got me these to wear. I got a freaking bread in to wear for my videos for Valentine's Day. They are just called headband. They keep it simple and sweet. And they're like glittery. But it's not glitter. It's like kind of feels like that tinsel stuff. Or you can wear them that way. But I don't see why you'd want to. It looks kind of weird. But you can see how they're put on. So they're on there pretty good. And you got the pink and white bows. And a pretty satin pink ribbon. Like. I love it. So I got me those. Now this one. The other one was completely open. This one is like the green one. It is sewn together. Which you could always cut it open if you really wanted. But look how cute the material is. That. They're gnomes. They're freaking gnomes. I love it. So we have that one. And those ones like that, you could always just like pop them on your head like this. And wear it down like this. Or twist it and put it back around like that. You know, whatever. I know I'm not doing it justice. Or just have them both like this. I'm just giving you little ideas. I'm glad I decided to do this video by my bed in the comfy spot. Because you guys, I just was not feeling it. But doing it on the floor in front of my bed where I can lean back and be comfy. Love that. This I got for pictures, but oh, is it going to make a mess. I'm going to open it. Oh, I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to. So I can grab one out and show you guys. 
what they look like in here. So you have this one, which looks like a little heart inside a big heart. The tiny cutout heart, which these would be good for makeup looks. Like, yes. Just going to use a bobby pin. See? Like that. Perfect. Oh, I forgot, you guys. I found some makeup there that was adorable. So there's a desert bronzer plus blush and a desert bronzer. So here's the desert just bronzer. It looks like a donut with sprinkles. And the desert bronzer plus blush looks like this. So let's go ahead and open these and take a little glance. Now let's see. What's this scented like? Cookie. Oh. It smells like a shortbread cookie. Or like the the cookies that you bake at Christmas time. Let's go ahead and swatch it, but let me show you what it looks like. Like this is the only color they had at the Dollar Tree. Let me get the middle first. Look at the middle. It's very soft. <sighs> Pressed. That's what's in the middle. It says blush plus bronzer. So I'm guessing that would be a different color. And it's got some pigment. I'm not saying it's a great color, but look at that. That was them together, and it's a, a third different color. Like, you guys, like, it has pigment, and it went on nice, and it's soft. It's very soft. I don't feel like there's anything on my hand. Now, I will say, no, it's not the best thing in the world, but it works. It has pigment. Glides on easily with no problem. One swipe swatch, you've seen it. Does still have the scent. So, let's try this one. I'm excited with those white and blue sprinkles. Let's see how this works as a just a bronzer. Okay, here we go. There's that one. Little, little sprinkles. It smell like a cupcake. They both smell the exact same. And now that I'm actually... Taking my time to smell it. I think it's just makeup I smell, actually. Anyways, there it is. Okay, I'm just going to do the middle first. Oh, that's a way different color. Wow. I thought they were going to be the exact same. But I will say, they are very soft. They have pigment. This just looks orange now. I'm pretty sure this oxidized. I'm almost positive, so. Yeah. I'm not going to swatch the sprinkles until after I take some pictures for Instagram. So I will, if you're not following me on Instagram or TikTok, it's the same for both. There will be a TikTok about this, and there will be pictures on Instagram about it, so go follow so you can see, and I'll put the swatches with the sprinkles behind, so yeah, not the greatest, but you know, it's it's whatever, it's $1.25, I'm not complaining, let's get this finished up, I got these because my kids love sour punch twists, and they're just little um, purple hearts that I'm going to keep after because this isn't printed on, I don't think, no, it's not, just wrote on the plastic so i can keep these for background fillers they both have sour punch straws or twists they each have 0.38 ounces in them so we got those i got some warhead taffy comes with 12 pieces these are so good then i could not help myself candy freaking bracelet y'all come on Yummy to wear. Comes with 12. I guess they look like this. But I had to. Come on. Tell me you wouldn't have grabbed them. Because you would have. Okay. Then I got Warhead Lollipops. They say mildly sour, wildly sweet lollipops. They look like a Warhead guy. Look. There's his face. There's his, uh, the explosion behind his head. That's cute. And the last item I got. This one. I'm not going to say names. 
so you guys don't know. And I got the puppy. So they each get one of these. Oh, no, we're not done. We got another bag. They each get one of these. They each get one of these. They each get a card. It all goes in a bag. Yeah. So now let's get to our last bag. Even though I'm sitting comfy, my butt is going numb. This is our last bag. Mostly flowers. But there are some other things in there. I just don't remember what. Because like I said, I love going to the Dollar Tree to get flowers for background color. And the good thing is they're, they last. I got tons of them over there from Halloween and Christmas that I've had for three years, I think. Oh, yeah. And I got me one of these Kleenex tissues to go in my purse. Oh, and they each get a stuffed animal. So here we go. We got a good amount. Look at that. So let me show them to you. So I wanted to get some just white. I'm trying to spread them so you can see them better. Some just plain white roses. I mean, they're kind of, you know, smashed up. But you could fix them. Let me give you one that's not too smashed. See? Just plain white roses. I'm going to take the tags off. Because you don't want to take pictures and see these tags in the background, guys. So make sure you always take those off. And let me show you an easy way to take it off. Pull your flower off. Slide it off. So we have the white. Just keep in mind Valentine's, okay? I've been loving purple. It's my favorite color. So we got some purple roses. Maybe it'll show you how white these are if I show them next to them. See? Like they are stark white. Then we got some like peach, peachish pink colored ones next to the white. See? Oh, damn! Assault me and shit. And another good thing about these they have, like, ridges, so you can cut them shorter if you need to, which I don't. But, see, we got stark white, and we got, like, peachy pink. We got pink as well. You can see where they're smashed. But all you gotta do is just set them out, spread them out, you know. They, they, they'll fix. So, we have pink. And they're all roses, yes. They really didn't have anything but roses that fit the color scheme. We got these, which are cute. They are some red roses. They come with some baby's breath. And then a couple of these, which if you look, these are the same. Oh, I already packed it away. That bear, that pink bear with the red in the ears, the heart in the feet. This is exact material that it was. So it would match. And it would look like you, you meant to do it. I mean, you did, but... If you have any other styrofoam pieces, you could take these off or these, some of these, and jam them down on there, and you'll be good to go. So that came with baby's breath, hearts, and red roses. This one is just peachy pink sparkly hearts with baby's breath and some leaves. Yes. And if you guys want to see, these do are on uh, the little things like the flowers. I'm so glad I figured that trick out because it used to take me so long to rip those off or cut them off and then peel them off and all that. But, like, is this not adorable? And the baby's breath, by the way, is not attached to the heart. So, you could always take this heart off and take the baby's breath off and put it somewhere else or whatever. And we got those. So, we got these. The red ones with some hearts. Pink flowers. The white flowers, the peachy pink flowers, and the purple flowers. Look at that. Now, one second. I want to show you what I was talking about putting through here. Like, see? Like, no. In no way is that cute. But I'm just trying to say, like, you can just put them on there, start spreading them out, put some over here, and over here, and over there, you know? Because they just go right through there. So they won't fall off. Like, look. Of course, I mean, you know, that's, like I said, this is not cute. You would need to work on it. But, like, there is potential. That's all. Same, there's potential. So there we go, guys. That's what I got for, like, I'll put it down here because I don't remember if it was 60-something or 80-something. But I'm pretty sure it was 80-something. So, what did you guys think? Let me know. Have you went to the Dollar Tree and picked up any decorations or stuff for loved ones or anything for Valentine's Day yet? And if so, what did you get? 
And did you get anything that I got? By the way, they were the most cutest things, which you will see on my story. I'm going to repost them for Easter. So I can't wait to go out and get a bunch of Easter stuff. But a lot of those flowers will work for Easter because they're more pastel color. So, you know, two in one. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, loves. And I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. But don't forget to like. Leave me a comment because it does help the channel. And subscribe if you enjoyed. That also helps. Even if you dislike, that's fine too. But with that, lovelies, I will see you in the next one. Bye.